Yo, Mark Saber here. So recently I've made a video about the two concerns I had with buying Hylion or SHLL stocks. And the second concern I had had specifically to do with the concern I have around Nikola and the fact that if Nikola stock drops, then that could impact Hylion or SHLL and it can make that stock drop because it's being correlated with my kind of my assumption. And I got a lot of flack from that actually. And I just want to share a cool comment that I got recently. Before we jump into this video though, don't forget to smash on that like button. It really helps this content, helps other people see this video. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free to do and I really appreciate it. Okay, well, let's get into this. And I recently hit 500 subscribers. And a thanks to all of you. Definitely check out my giveaway video in the link above. And I also linked it in the description below for your chance to win two $20 Amazon gift cards. Okay, so the comment goes, Nikola has no product. SHLL do have products. So what are you talking about actually? If Nikola crash, that will make SHLL go skyrocketing. Honestly, you make no sense. Okay, so the no sense part, completely agree with you. Okay, now going to the, okay, I do think that the two companies shouldn't be correlated and related to each other. So I do think what he's saying is pretty legit. The fact that these stocks shouldn't be correlated, one has products, one doesn't have products essentially. And I think that's absolutely correct. But the thing is, is that you have to also know that investors must correlate stocks with each other. Whether it's warranted or not, investors will compare two stocks with each other. That brings me to the point of this idea. I literally got this comment after hours today. So when they say, what are you talking about actually? If Nikola crashed, that will make SHLL go skyrocketing. Honestly, you make no sense. Okay, I'm just, <laughs> okay I don't make sense. But I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, what happened to Nikola today? Okay, well it crashed over 20%. That's like one of the biggest crashes I've seen for a long time, 20% decline. Okay, so that's a huge crash. I mean, are we waiting for a bigger crash than that? And how much has it crashed over the past month? It's been crashing massively. Okay, so obviously today might have been a green day, right, for SHLL? Let me check it out. Oh, it's including after hours today was down over 4%. Okay, so well, maybe that was just an anomaly, right? Let's look at the past month. So let's look over here at SHLL. Oh, what do we see here? Well, I mean, these two stocks look pretty correlated. I mean, like, ridiculously correlated here. If we go down to the five minute level, actually, we'll see even super minuscule drops be super correlated at random points. These stocks are really correlated. The most correlated stocks ever. Okay, so these stocks are so correlated that not only today was a correlation, but these stocks for the past literally month have been following the exact pattern essentially. Some more drastic, some less drastic. Nikola obviously is the little is the one that has been doing more rapid downs and ups than Hylion, which is kind of level off, but following again this exact same trend almost every single day. So what does this mean? This means that investors are correlating these two stocks together. Whether it's warranted or not. The thing to know is investors don't always correlate stock correctly, but they need to find some stocks to correlate with. The thing to know is that Tesla was correlated with Ford and GM for a while. When GM and Ford went down, Tesla stock would go down. Is that being correlated correctly? No, that was being correlated incorrectly. I thought Tesla should be correlated more with tech stock. Tesla has been trending more with the high growth tech stocks as of late. And so I think that's more correct and appropriate. But the thing is to know is that investors will not necessarily correlate stocks with the right type of stocks. Well, the fact is correlating Hylion with Nikola or something like that is probably more appropriate than correlating Hylion with the likes of, I don't know, Penske or some truck maker company. There is a very big opportunity when there are correlations that are made incorrectly, like Tesla, for example. I don't expect as much of a correction as of Tesla, and I'll get to that why, but Tesla, for example, was correlated incorrectly with Ford and GM. Once people broke out of that mold more and more and more and saw that shift happen lately, Tesla skyrocketed because it needed to correlate more with the high growth tech stocks. Now, will that happen with Hylion? So I think that people will find out more and more that Hylion and Nikola shouldn't be correlated with one another. Now, the thing is, is that it's not like it's being correlated with like the trucker companies that make trucks or something. It's not like Tesla being compared to Ford. So it's not that drastic of a mistake of a correlation necessarily, but the mistake will be more along the lines of in the recent price action of SHLL stock, it was pulled down primarily for the fact that nickel is crashing. That move down, we might see corrected when the minds are shifted from, okay, actually we shouldn't be correlating highly unnecessarily as closely with Nikola. So Nikola, once it levels off, I can see that Hylion might be able to recover these losses. But again, that's assuming Nikola levels off in the near future and then Hylion can rebound these losses. I'm not saying that 
oh, Hylion should triple all of a sudden because of the fact that it was being massively undervalued necessarily by being compared to Nikola, because Nikola was being way overvalued, for example. So if it was being correlated with Nikola, then it could have been jumping up its value as well. Now the fact that Nikola is being crashed down for other reasons, miscellaneous reasons, the fact that they're diluting their shares, a lot of things are going on with Nikola that are making it crash down that shouldn't be correlated necessarily with Hylion. So it does pose an opportunity with Hylion and recovering those losses. So that's an interesting thing just to be aware of and be aware of when stocks are correlated and when things are correlated incorrectly, it could be good opportunities when investing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just remember, like this comment says, honestly, you make no sense and that's exactly right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And before we get any further, I just want to make sure that it's clear that this person's comment, I really respect their comment. I respect their opinion. They can have any opinion that they want. I really appreciate your comment, actually, because you kind of helped me make this whole video today. So you're awesome, man.